Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and to another video where today I'm here at Wembley Stadium for not one, but two cup finals in one day. Later on, we've got the Isuzu FA Trophy final between FC Halifax Town and Gateshead. But first off, it's the Isuzu FA Vars final between Ascot United and the current holders, Newport Pagnell Town. Okay, so I'm with some Newport Pagnell Town fans here. Can I get you to all uh, introduce yourself? I'm Ethan. I'm Ruby. I'm Carl. I'm Dominica. Jack Whitney. Charlie Morgan. My name's John. Archie Nambun. Uh, Alan Lever. My name's Colin. My name's Isaac. My name's Saren. My name's Simon. My name's Maddie. Big day for you guys today. You could potentially go back to back in the FA Vars. Two wins in a row, potentially. How are you all feeling? I'm feeling very excited and I hope our team um, makes it through. Confident. Yeah, we're buzzing. We're really excited. We're loving it at the moment. Yeah, we can't wait. We, for sure we win. And what, what does it mean for the town and everyone in the club? It's a small town and it's, so, it's really good with the youth and it's really encouraging it coming along and it's amazing what it does. It's really inspiring the kids and, and it's great. The team come around to all the schools and it's, uh, it, it means a lot. This is the biggest day of Newport's life. If we win this, we're the biggest club in FA Vars history. Biggest club in FA Vars history. It means we will be the greatest team in Buckinghamshire. In the heart. Yeah. MK Dons, MK Dons, who are they? MK Dons, we're MK Dons, we're Newport Town. It would mean the absolute world to me. We won it last year and if we win it again, that just shows that we're the best. I think it means we're better than Liverpool. <laughs> oh, it would be fantastic. You know, I don't think the boys can do it. They, I think they're, I think they're second favourites again today, but they're used to that. They tend to, when I've seen them, they tend to play better when they're up against it. And I think the pressure's off this year. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely wouldn't bet against them, that's for sure. It would be, it's, it's massive. To win it once was brilliant, but to win it a second time would be unbelievable achievement. Yeah, amazing achievement, wouldn't it? It would be an unbelievable achievement. Uh, last year was just so such a great day out for not only for the players, but for the fans, the entire community in Newport. And to get the opportunity to do it again is just absolutely unbelievable. Can I get some score predictions from you then? 3-2 to Newport. 2-1 for Newport. 2-1 to Newport. Uh, it's going to be 2-1. We're going to win. 3-0 Newport. 3-1 Newport. I think it'll be closer than last year. I'm going to say 2-1 Newport. I think it's going to be a close affair. I'm going to go 2-1. Maybe 2 all on penalties. I think 2 all penalties as well. I think it's going to be 3-1 to Newport. 3-1. Okay, so with a few Ascot United fans here, do you just want to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Adam, and this is my son, Jackson, and this is his best mate Leo. Uh, Stuart. Michelle. Uh, my name's James. I'm Noah. My name's Tim. I'm the club chaplain. Uh, my name's Lee. I'm just one of the uh, supporters. Brad. I'm Jack. Um, Harvey. Jack. Izzy. Alexis. What does it mean for everyone involved with the town and the club to be here at the uh, FA Vars final today? I just think it's something we'd never thought would happen to be honest and it may never happen again in my lifetime so we've got to get the boys involved grassroots football is so important yeah really good really excited um i think they'll do well i think they'll win today outstanding to get here really really proud of the team yeah big thing i'm really looking forward to it there's so many kids coming to watch from all the play the teams that play around ascot so it's really exciting so fingers crossed they do well oh, it's just a massive historic occasion really because um having got promoted as well this year we are hopefully the last time we'll ever be in the vase um as well so going up to trophy level but yeah for the whole town and for the whole club it's absolutely massive yeah it, you know we're ascot residents both of our sons play for the club as well oh, wow. at junior level build up since we've reached the finals just been amazing and the whole town are behind it now it's brilliant it's nice i think um a bit outnumbered but it would be nice for the whole of ascot to get down so looking forward to it yeah it means a lot to the whole community as a club really yeah what can i get some score predictions from you oh i know i know these guys have won already uh, i think it's going to be a tough game I'm not doing the cliche, it's just we're winning if we're just being here type thing. I'm going to say 2-1 Ascot. I was going to say 2-1, but I'd like penalties because that'd be good. Well, I think Ascot will definitely win, but I'm hoping it'll go to penalties. 3-1 Ascot. 2-1 Ascot. 2-1. I agree, 2-1. I think we can win. We're just hoping that Ascot play the match instead of play the occasion. They've been favourites with the bookmakers since the quarterfinals, but who knows? I think it'll be a tight game, but I think Ascot are going to nick it 2-1. 
We can go one all and then win on pens. Three one Ascot. Yeah, two nil. Two nil. Two nil. Two nil. Come on, Ascot! Okay, here with some FC Halifax Town fans. First of all, could you just introduce yourselves? I'm George. Matthew. Corey. Mark. James. Harry. Lindsay. Chris. Isabel. Callum. Peter Midgley. And Lily Midgley. What does it mean for the town and the club to be here at the uh, FA Trophy final today? Oh, it's an amazing achievement. It was the second time in seven years. It's absolutely amazing for the community. It's what we'll live for. Absolutely fantastic for the town. For the people of Halifax, for us all Halifax town fans who have been following up and down the country all, all year and over the years, it's fantastic. Yeah, it's just a massive reward for the fans really. We haven't had the best of seasons, so it's a nice way to end it. And you're a mascot, aren't you? Yeah, it's really good to be here and as well as being a mascot too. It means a lot really, it'd be a great day for the town, a great a great day for the team. Hopefully they can get a win. Harry's a mascot. Are you a mascot? Yeah. You excited? <laughs> Just really excited, really excited and see him on the pitch as well is going to be amazing. Oh, biggest day of his life, isn't it? Lily yeah. didn't get to come in 2016, but now she's here today with me and she's absolutely living the dream. It's a heck of an achievement. We've worked hard, we're a small club, we go in places, what every club wants to be. Second time in seven years, it's a great achievement. It's a good thing to do. I first, My first time here, I mean, I didn't go last time, but it's a great place to be. And uh, can I get some score predictions from you all? No. <laughs> as long as we come out on top, that's all that matters. It's going to be a tough one. I'm not too sure. I think it'll go till last minute. I ain't saying a thing. I get it wrong and jinxes. <laughs> <laughs> this young man reckoned 2 1 yesterday, so we'll, we'll, we'll go for 2 1 to Halifax. 4 1. 1 0 to us. 2 1 town. I think 2 0 to Halifax. 2 0. I'm back in 2 1. Okay, with a couple of Gateshead fans here, if you just want to introduce yourself. Adam. I'm Matt. So, what does it mean for you guys to be here at the, uh, the FA Trophy final today? Just after everything the club's been through over the last few years, it just means a hell of a lot, especially since winning the league last year. First league, in the, first time back in the National League, trophy final, what can more be asked for? Stayed up as well, really good season for you guys. Aye, just phenomenal, the lads have been amazing all season. Hopefully we'll finish off with a win today. Do you think you'll be able to uh, lift the trophy today? The answer is yes, of course, yeah. I mean, when you come to Wembley, I mean, anything can happen and... To be honest, just want the win. You know, whatever form that is, 1-0. Hopefully not extra time penalties, just a win. Just win, that's all we want. And tell me about the job Mike Williamson's done this season. He's done a phenomenal job. I mean, you know, the whole thing about trust the process. At the start, I think it was met with quite a lot of scepticism. But come the end, I mean, the form has been fantastic. We've been winning games. It's been an incredible end to the season. It's a really good um, momentum for the like next season, I would say. And finally, this is a horrible part. Can you get some score predictions? I'm going to say 2-1. 2-1 uh, after extra time. OK, so with a Gateshead fan here, would you just like to introduce yourself and what you do? My name's David Gaddis, and I run the Heat Army podcast, and today I'm getting to commentate at Wembley Live. What would it mean for Gateshead to, to win the FA Trophy today? It would be amazing, but getting here is the, the big achievement. We've had a, a torrid season of injuries and then we picked it up we were the form team for the second half of the season in the National League but that came with loan players that come in a lot of those loan players were cup tied so now the squad kind of picks itself but it's going to be a better achievement if it happens What are you thinking for a score prediction? Not giving you one No, you're <laughs> too nervous Too nervous, yeah Okay, so look who I've bumped into the one, the only Dan Bell aka DB30 Sports TV Gateshead fan obviously Mate, how you doing? Nervous, excited, uh, just everything rolled into one. Um, I mean, w whatever happens, happens. I mean, uh, if if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. If not, then uh, we've had a remarkable run to get to this point alone. And uh, I'm sure our lads will just go out there, they'll give it absolutely everything. And uh, whatever, I, I'm I'm I'm, pr I'm nervous, but I'm proud. That's probably the best way you can put it. I know you said you're nervous, but. Do you think you can do it and have you got a score prediction at all? Um, our record against Halifax is not good at all. I believe it's like 12 draws and three defeats, but law of averages, uh, one day we, we have to beat them. I mean, knowing us, that'll probably, that'll probably be the, the first game we play against them next season. But um, We're a better place than Wembley, eh? Yeah, um, so my heart, my, my head says, my, my head unfortunately says Halifax because uh, obviously they've got so I think I think pretty much more personnel to choose from what have you, and that could be a difference. But in my heart, I know we can do it. I know we can um, just go out there, just give it everything, and uh, like I, I, I know I know we can win. So uh, maybe for the purposes of this, I'll side with my heart and say two one to the Heat. And where can everyone find you? Uh, on my YouTube channel, uh, DB30 Sports TV, and also on Twitter at the DB30.
are underway in the final of the Isuzu FA Vars. Oh, that's the post. Chance here for Newport Pagnell. Oh, just headed over. Chance for Ascot here. Oh! Oh, just it over the bar. Oh, off the bar! Huge chance for Ascot United there to take the lead off the bar. United take the lead. United, the deadlock is broken in the Isuzu FA Vars final. Truth be told, Aspect United have been the spare team in the second half as well, so it's a deserved goal for them. But is that how the game is going to finish? <laughs> Into five minutes added time here. Will there be a response from Newport Pagnell or is it Ascot who are going to win the Isuzu FA Vars? There it is, full time, Ascot United have won the Isuzu FA Vars. So that concludes the 2023 Isuzu FA Vars final. Huge congratulations to Ascot United on their win. But now it's time for the FA Trophy final between FC Halifax Town and Gateshead. And for the second time today, here come the teams.
some noise from those FC Halifax Town fans. For the second time today, we're on the way at Wembley. Should have been one more. Great third corner, like 10 minutes before half time. Not dealt with. Oh, just over the bar. Probably best chance to go third and half so far. Halifax Town just before half time. There's one mistake from the Gateshead goalkeeper Jamie Cook capitalised, and it's 1 0 to FC Halifax Town at Wembley. There it is, half time. FC Halifax Town 1, Gateshead 0 in the Asuzu FA Trophy. Halifax within the box. Oh, save. Here come Halifax looking to kill the game off. Oh, off the post! They've done it! Halifax Town have won the Suzu FA Trophy. guys there you have it that concludes non-league finals day for 2023 a huge congratulations to the winning sides Ascot United and FC Halifax Town and of course commiserations to the runners-up on the day Newport Pagnell Town and 
Gateshead, but what a great day of football it was. Two very evenly matched games uh, between some very good sides, playing some great football, showcasing the best of what non-league football in this country has to offer. But also a huge thank you goes to all the fans you'll have seen at the start of the video, getting the score predictions in, all that good stuff. Wouldn't have been possible without them, and it also wouldn't have been possible without your guys' support as well. Uh, you know, all the support on the channel over the years, um, leaving a like, subscribing, commenting on the video, sharing them, all that sort of good stuff to get the opportunity to film pitch side at Wembley is something I couldn't have possibly even dreamed of just a few months ago and it wouldn't have been possible without your guys' continued support on the channel. So deep down from the bottom of my heart, genuinely thank you so much for the support you give me uh, because it's allowed me to do incredible things like this. But yeah, if you could continue to support the channel as well and if you have enjoyed this video, please do not forget to leave a like. Of course, as always, subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you never miss an upload. Thank you so much for watching once again and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>